welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlam. And I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, I was thinking we should maybe talk about that link button in estimating order entry. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Uh, that sounds like a good idea. Can you, maybe you can share with us what that does. Sure. Uh, well, it does basically three things. Mm -hmm. It allows you to link one or more components, or two, I should say, two or more components together mm -hmm. um, to make kind of one product. Right. Um, and you can link different groups of components on the same job into individual products. Mm -hmm. Then you have the benefit of you can do number one, quote by those products. So instead of quoting just individual components or a whole job, you can right. kind of quote by product. Um, you can invoice by product. So each line item on the invoice could be for each product. Mm -hmm. And it also improves some spoilage calculations. Okay. okay. So maybe we can start with how it works on the quote sure. stage. Okay, let's take a look at this job here. I'm going to open this job. And I have an order here that has five components. You'll see the first two are a booklet. I have cover and text, and that makes up one product. Um, components three and four are for a wire-bound book, the cover and text. That makes another product. And then I have my letterhead. That's a product by itself. So what I want to do is link the first two together and then three and four together. So I can do that by clicking on the link button. And I can enter the group name that I want to call it, or the product name, if you will, and I'm going to call that a booklet. And then I'm going to highlight the components that I want to group together and click OK. And now you see that the group name has changed to booklet, and you can see that those two first components belong to that group. Now I'm going to start down here on component three, click the link button, and this one I want to call book, and I'll just call it wirebound. I'll highlight the two components I want to group there, and click OK. And now those are part of the group wire bound. Right. So now I basically have three products in this job. My booklet, mm -hmm. my wire bound, and my letterhead. Yep. Okay. And I presume there's no real need to group the last one if it's just by itself. Correct. You just leave yeah. it by itself unless you have something, another component that you need to mm -hmm. link it to. Yep. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look at the quote and what that looks sure. like. Sure. So to print a quote, I would click on the quote button. And now you would need to have this checkbox checked to combine components to one product if you want to see them printed by product. Mm -hmm. If you uncheck it, it's going to show it individual component as it always did. Okay. Um, combine products, instead of showing the whole job as one product, it's now going to do it by individual products. Okay, okay? that makes sense. So I'm going to click on print. And it starts off first with my letterhead. So I have my letterhead at a quantity of 500 and the price for just the letterhead. If I click next to look at the next page, I have my wirebound book, the cover and the text, and then the quantity of 100 and cost for that book. And then on the third page, I have my booklet, the two components that make up the booklet, and then you'll see I have a different quantity for this book and the cost associated with that book. So mm -hmm. it lets you basically quote by product. Okay. Okay? All right. That makes sense. Yep. So you still actually see the individual components. It's just the pricing is all going to be grouped together. Right, and the components you see on each individual page will be grouped together grouped by, so yep. that you can see the details of the product and mm -hmm. the paper or whatever that's being used for each individual product. Yep. And of course, these reports can be customized if you don't want to see it to that level or if you want more right. detail, mm -hmm. you can customize it. Okay. Okay. Good. Makes sense. Uh, I guess the invoice would be next. Sure. Let's take a look at that. Okay. So I'm going to get out of estimating order entry. Let me save this job. We'll close out of here and we'll go into AR. Okay. And I'm going to go to job closeout. And this job is actually closed already, so I'm going to go to close jobs and find my job. And here it is right here. I'm going to click on invoice to create the invoice. Now it's going to ask me again, do I want a separate line item for each component mm -hmm. or do I want to not do it in and invoice the entire job. If I right. say no, it's going to invoice the entire job as it always did mm -hmm. with one price. Yep. If I say yes, instead of showing five um, components like it would do if I hadn't grouped it, right. it'll show it by product. Okay. So I'm going to say yes here. And you'll see it'll come in and the description now is going to be the description for uh, each of the groups. Right. And then where letterhead did not was not part of a group, it's showing the component description along with the price for each product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I guess though, if you need the invoice broken out all five components, which maybe you wouldn't, but if you did, 
the only recourse would be to not link them or you have to do it manually at the invoice. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So it's kind of either you quote an invoice by product or mm -hmm. you don't or you group them and you do them individually. Just don't link them, right. right. Okay. Okay. Do you have any other questions? No, it all makes sense. Great. Well, thank good. you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlamme. And I'm Chris Costa. Please look forward to more to come.